My name is Diana Furch Scott-Roth and I was on a panel discussion as to whether to raise the minimum wage. My position was that raising the minimum wage is not the right way to help low-income individuals. We need to help them get into the labor market. And if the minimum wage is $10 an hour, uh, then you have to have skills of about $11 an hour before getting hired because employers also have to pay social security, workers' contribution, unemployment insurance. Right now we have the situation that anyone with skills under $8 an hour is not allowed to work in the United States. That's positively un-American. And people are proposing to raise that to $11 an hour. There is no better way to squelch the future of our young people by not allowing them to enter the labor force. The minimum wage right now applies to very few American workers. Only 3% of working Americans right now make the minimum wage, and 97% are already above it, not because of the kindness of employers, but because that's how much employers have to pay them to get them to stay in their jobs. So for those few people who do make minimum wage and who need to support a household, then what we need to do is make sure that they have access to the earned income tax credit, uh, food stamps, Medicaid, and other social programs that help put them in a position where they are safe for them and their families.